Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? You hungry? Okay, there's a meow. It's another meow. I think that was a meow. That was a meow. And that's a meow. And another meow. Fighter. So he's uh, been pretty quiet the past few days. So he's meowing at least. Is it food? <clears throat> okay, so it's not as eager as uh, some of those other previous days from a week or two ago. Eh, oh well. At least he meowed. You know, the past few nights he's barely done anything. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the plate and take it out. Okay. Ready for dinner? Can I open the screen? Ready? Wow. What was that? All I did was open the screen. And he hissed at me. So you move back. So I take the food out. So I haven't moved, folks. I just opened the screen. I've been dead still. So I opened the screen. He hissed. And yeah, I haven't moved. So he hissed for no reason because I didn't even like take a uh, you know, uh, lunge or. <clears throat> even an approach to him. Okay, so I got your food. So I'm gonna put it on the table. Get your water. Close the door now. And I'm gonna walk past you. I'm gonna change your water. Okay. So, take out the old water. And take in the new water. Okay. In back. Okay. So, are you ready? Okay, I'm going to sit in the chair. Okay. Uh, he's going to approach me on my knees. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's a, it's a meow. He's walking over to my glove here. Yeah, he came all the way over. So, I don't know what the hiss was about. I guess he's going to be more friendly now, I hope. Keep switching sides. The other side is where he's going to scratch or hiss there. So I'm about. Half hour later than I usually see them right now, so I had some things to do, so wasn't able to get out here earlier. 
not terribly late, but uh, because we've done feedings this late before. But yeah, he hasn't been particularly uh, motivated, I think, the past few days from his uh, silence. So I think he's eating too much. So he can, he can afford to wait 30 minutes, I think. there. He likes to keep his head down, so it's really hard to film his face. I don't know, maybe I should try petting him on my knees. But I don't think uh, I'd be very comfortable. For, for me, anyway. And, uh, yeah, open me up to scratching. So I see there's a grooming artifact there. So I'm worried, yeah, he's been getting more fleas. I don't see the one in the back, so might not be anything. over the head that time. There's been a couple times where I got under his uh, chin pretty good. So I usually try to avoid too much of the chin just because yeah he's scratched me before for going there. So he's starting to become less interested, I think, in the petting. But he did just switch sides there, and yeah, he just did a head stroke there. So, but yeah, I think we're getting close to our time here. So, oh, kind of a love bite thing there. Another one. So yeah, I gotta look at that. Grooming artifact there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's late, so you probably want your food. So I probably should stop petting you. Oops. Okay. Finish this one up here. Okay, how about your food? Okay, how's that sound? Just looking at it for a second. Okay, let's get your food. And, oops, I almost spilled it. Okay. Here's your food. And, I think it's, uh, the real chicken and tuna again. So his fur is pretty good. Uh, not, too, not too tangled or anything. Things going very smoothly. And on this side, I don't see many. Actually, I don't see any grooming artifacts. So. And usually, that you know that first side I do has usually most of the artifacts. So today it looks pretty good, and it's the other side that has the artifacts.
So yeah, it's trying to dodge me. Okay, I'm gonna switch brushes. Oops, I scared him. Not sure why I didn't do anything too differently than I've done before. And then going slight difference was yeah, I was a little closer with the brushes, or he's you know next to the brushes, it's a little you know, a little bit closer than usual, but. I don't think it's anything we haven't done before, so... So anyway, the weather was overcast again. And there was a little bit of a wind and wind chill. So I'm actually a little cold right now because I still feel it. But it didn't rain. I saw Scruffy this morning out in the rocks. So he was just kind of, I think, sleeping. Wasn't doing much. And then I lost sight of him. I'm going to flip the brush now. Um, lost sight of him for most of the day. Last night, I did see him on the table again. It's kind of late, and yeah, he was sleeping next to the box on the big table, but not in it. And he was kind of wrapped himself up in the blue blanket. So, I guess he kind of likes the table at night. And then about, let's say, an hour and a half before dinner, uh, he became visible on the deck for a brief second, and he saw me in the window. And I was looking at him, and he was looking at me, and then he moved. Or I, I turned away for a second, like uh, probably about 10 seconds, and then when I turned back, he was already gone. I was looking for him. Where did he go? I thought, did he go to the door? And so I checked the door. He wasn't there. And then I saw his uh, tail was hiding behind the table. So he moved out of line of sight again. So I couldn't see him. Um, so I guess for whatever reason, he didn't want me to see him. And, uh, I saw him in the kitchen window. And. Uh, I guess he decided you know, he wasn't ready to be seen yet because it was still an hour and a half or so until dinner. So yeah, I don't think he really likes me that much. Um, it's supposed to rain. Three days from now it keeps changing, so I think we're gonna get two more dry days and then possibly rain and thunder. Though I think, even though they're, they've marked it as rain and thunder, I think the probability is still slightly less than fifty percent. So since the weather report keeps changing, though, I'm trying to take advantage of the weather while it's still good. So I went out for a bicycle ride today. So I had that really good run yesterday. And I was worried that, yeah, the run was, you know, so it was longer than, you know, it was a, it did an extra almost two miles yesterday. Um, so I was a little worried that, you know, my body would be really tired. Not up to the task. And uh, so I definitely didn't want to run today. I thought, well, the okay, weather's good. I don't know if it's going to turn bad, so I think I can do a bicycle ride. And the guess went pretty well. It wasn't my fastest, but uh, it was pretty, yeah, pretty average uh, times. And then I was able to do some of my extended routes, so 
went up some of the harder areas or steeper steeper areas and I got a kind of a fairly fairly difficult ride and um, I wasn't feeling too much uh, exhaustion or pain so so I think it went well. So on my way back, yeah, uh, yeah. So I cut through a whole bunch of you know different areas, uh, just because yeah, the where I ride is several miles from here, so I have to cut through a bunch of different neighborhoods. Um, so on my way back, yeah, there was a white orange cat standing in the street on a corner. Not a very smart cat. And it was looking the other direction. I think presumably looking for cars, but d doesn't understand, you know, the way traffic laws basically. So if a car basically was standing in a street where if a, a car makes a right turn, so it's sitting into the corner. If the car makes a right turn, the cat would get run over. Uh, so I was coming, basically making that right turn. Um, and since I'm on a bicycle, he couldn't hear me. And so I, yeah, I didn't run him over, but yeah, I scared the heck out of him. Because, <laughs> yeah, he didn't see me until I passed him. And then he flipped out. Let's see, I saw six deer today. So I mentioned I saw I think seven deer it was last week. So I was not in the same exact spot but I was kind of in that same vicinity. So I'm thinking that it may have been that same group group of deer. Because uh, yeah they're a diff bunch of different ages and, uh, and so yeah I saw yeah, the pack I saw today a bunch of different ages. Uh, but yeah there's one deer missing. I think that the smallest deer is missing, so I guess you know, what you call the baby. So I'm not sure if that means the baby didn't make it or if the baby was elsewhere or you know, shelter you know, to one of the mountain lions or bobcats or whatever predators they have in the region to get it. I'm sure they have wolves. Coyotes. I think they like coyotes. And yeah, probably more likely than some sort of a cat, some sort of a mountain lion or bobcat or something. I forgot to mention it, but yeah, I think it was a couple days ago. I saw Boots uh, a couple blocks down from here. So he was in front of somebody's house. Uh, he was kind of sniffing around their front door. Uh, I don't think that house left any food out, so I think that you know, Boots is just kind of sniffing around for anything. Boots get, seems to be a very mischievous, uh, mischievous cat. Goes wherever he pleases, and uh, I was yeah kind of surprised to see him that far down. So I guess Boots gets around has a big uh, area he likes to patrol and control. So I'm surprised yeah he's you know, all the way down there and still manages to find his way into my backyard here. Oh, and then when I got back today, I saw a white cat sitting in my front, uh, in my neighbor's front yard. So one of the white cats, I mean. So even though the sun was out, uh, the cats were, and the deer were, I saw a lot of squirrels out too. Scrappy's done. Yep, he's not stopping to groom himself. Let's see if I hear the scratching noises. Yep, 
Okay, so that's a good sign. So I just noticed that the scratcher here is slightly uh, uh, turned. So I thought I had it more at a 90 degree angle, but I don't know, I wasn't paying that close of attention, but yeah, I think maybe that means he's been using it. I don't know. So I assume... I don't know, I don't see any like scratch marks. So I don't know. But yeah, I've definitely been keeping an eye out to see if he's been using it. I haven't seen him use it, so... I'm so frustrated with that. <clears throat> but anyway, I guess that's it for tonight. And uh, so thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.